in the park this morning, people are going to be hedgling. Some people are going to be moving chippings. Some people are clearing brambles. Now, I know brambles are good for wildlife, but we've got a very overgrown patch of brambles, which we're cutting back in a five year cycle. Some people who are working on flower beds. We've just had a delivery of some bulbs for next year. We've also had a delivery of some bird and bat boxes and we will be putting rows up. I think that's all the tasks for this morning. So it's a real mix of jobs and we just see what needs doing and what people want to do. My name's Anne-Marie and I live in Chester. This is the tennis club and a couple of our volunteers are actually members here so they have very kindly allowed us to use this space as our coffee after our work day. So we come in here for a coffee and a chat and we have a chat about what we've done, who we've spoken to in the park, just our lives in general and what we might want to do next week. I think it is an important part because who wants to just work away on their own? <laughs> It's good to be able to bounce ideas off other people. It's good to be able to feel this is another friendship group. It's good to feel that we know we're uh, doing the right thing. We know we can accomplish things together. It'd be difficult to do it if we didn't have a group who were supporting each other. Yeah, it is important to connect with others, yeah. Myself and my husband were getting fed up with this overgrown a planted area just outside the park and it had been planted really nicely in the past we could see that but it was very overgrown another couple of neighbors were feeling the same so we decided to get together one day and just go out and give the whole thing a haircut around about the same time my husband Neil and I started to have walks through the park and we noticed the woodland area that was planted up at the back of the park and we just thought it was so nice and restful, um, but it was a bit of a thicket, and we thought, wouldn't it be nice if there were some paths through here? So we just came to the park with secateurs and loppers and just made some paths. Later, we discovered the, that it was a Friends of Westminster Park group. The way they operated was to have maybe one or two work days during the year when um, they would maybe do some litter picking or some pruning. But we got together with some others and said, well, we really could do with this once a week and let's see how we get on. So that's how it started. So it actually was during lockdown when we wanted to have our one hour walk that we were allowed. So we started to walk around the park and that's when we discovered the woods. And I'm glad we did because it was such an uplift, mood-wise, spiritually, you know, health-wise. It was great to walk around the woods and I felt very conscious of the fact that walking around the park, walking around the woodland area, I felt sometimes like I could be in the countryside somewhere, not in the middle of town. And it just was such an uplift to, for my mood and mental health, etc. Other friends started to join us. People that were walking through the park and spotted what we were doing and started to get interested and ask us about it. And they joined. And we now have about 20, 20, two, three names on the group list. It's terrific to see the difference that we've made. If you've got 10 or 12 people working once a week, you really can make an impact on creating new flower beds, for instance, or building ha wildlife habitats, or doing some hedge laying, or all these things are much easier and you can get a lot done if there's a big group. People are always stopping to say, 
thank you and how much they enjoy it. It makes me feel great. It makes me feel, yes, we're doing the right thing. I also have a little sneaky smile to myself because I wonder how much they know that we are enjoying what we're doing and would be a bit annoyed or a bit fed up if they said, no, you must stop. During lockdown, over the whole country, we realised how important it is for people to have access to an outdoor space. I felt quite strongly about that because I was aware that we were in a very lucky position. But I did know some others who were stuck in flats and things. And I think that we saw, as a country, how important outdoor space is for people's mental health. And I do feel that it's so nice to see people walking through our park for instance, we had a chap said, every morning as I walk through the park to fetch my paper, I thank my lucky stars for where I live. <laughs> I think before when we weren't using the park, the park meant to me, I should get over into that park. <laughs> now the park means to me is, is like an extension to my space. It's a living, breathing thing, it's something else. It's like another being in my life. I couldn't be without it now, and it means a lot to me. So the Wildlife Champions course I think that made a tremendous impact on both myself and the others who've done the course. And right from the beginning, we thought this is really interesting because it wasn't teaching us about how to recognise this bug or that bug, but it was telling us how to make bug hotels and how to engage the public. So it was showing us how we could take forward from just making paths through the woods or trimming hedges to sort of creating spaces. The other thing was we met other people doing the courses then and actually was still uh, in contact with people who were on the course with us that, at that time. And it meant that we could discuss with other people what are they doing in their spaces, get ideas, give them ideas. We've been to several wildlife champion events since and they've been really good. It's been nice to catch up with other people and see what they're doing, how things are progressing, and what have they done that's worked and maybe how we could tweak things. We've had a couple of visitors from other groups as well to look at our space and tell us what they've done. We know there's a biodiversity crisis in the country, but we can see on our own home turf that people are responding to that and that we can make a connection right through the heart of the city. Just down from us, at the bottom of Leach Lane, we're in Wild's countryside, open countryside. And then we come up and we're at the Leach Backies. And they are doing great things down there, they're just getting started. And then we come up and we've got a big wild area that is the golf course. And then we come into Westminster Park and we've got our wild area. Then we can continue on down to the Dingle, which is next to the river, and there's on down to the meadows. And that's a connection from open space right into the centre of the Chester city. And then, of course, there's loads of other groups in the city and on the way out to wild countryside, the other side. The Wildlife Champions course has been great for us because it gave us confidence, gave us loads of ideas and tips on how to do things. We've met other groups and uh, it's great to have ideas from them, share ideas, and that feeling of connection that we can do something together is really good. And it's just a fabulous feeling to be part of that network. So I'd say to anybody who wants to start, just start. We started with four and we've now got over 20 and we've got connections all over the place and we've won awards and the awards are great but the reward 
is terrific. <laughs> <laughs>